breastplate of Saint Patrick. Christ she me this day, Christ with me, Christ before me, Christ behind me, Christ in me, Christ beneath me, Christ above me, Christ on my right, Christ on my left, Christ when I lie down, Christ when I rise, Christ in the heart of every person who thinks of me. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. Sisters and brothers in Christ Jesus, today the liturgy is an invitation for us to understand the deepness and the importance of prayer. In the gospel we see Jesus teaches how to pray. In the first reading, Moses, through Moses, God promises that his word will not come back empty but will bear fruit. Since Eucharist, we are called for that as we are preparing ourselves to witness the passion, death and resurrection. We are here in the practice of Lent, especially asked, the church is asking us to pray. So we make sure that prayer becomes the part of our life and an important guidance to reach to heaven. We also pray in this Eucharist for the thanksgiving of Miss Adeclamary and family, for the World's Women Day, and for Carol Vincent's husband's good health. And there is special intention from Jerome Rajeshwari for Donna's good study and for Miss Cecilia Mary's good health. And also we pray for the departed soul of Miss Amala Nagi, Mr. Raja, Ms. Anthony. Mr. Tervo de Souza. Along with this intention, we also place ourselves before God and pray to Him that He may bless us and bless all our endurance today that we may witness Him in each and every minute of this day. Sisters and brothers, for the time we have not acknowledged God as a heavenly master, we say sorry to Him by saying, I confess to Almighty God, God and, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary of a Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, and you my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. Grant Almighty God, through the yearly observance of Holy Lent, that we may grow in understanding of the riches hidden in Christ, and by worthy conduct perceive their effort. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever.
my word shall accomplish that which i purpose the first reading a reading from the prophet isaiah chapter 55 verses 10 to 11 thus says the lord as the rain and the snow come down from heaven and do not return there but water the earth making it bring forth and sprout giving seed to the sower and bread to the eater so shall my word be that goes out from my mouth it shall not return to me empty but it shall accomplish that which i purpose and shall succeed in the thing for which i sent it the word of the lord thanks be to god let our response be the lord rescues them in all their distress the lord rescues them in all their distress Glorify the Lord with me together let us praise his name I sought the Lord and he answered me from all my terrors he set me free our response the Lord rescues me in all their distress look toward him and be radiant let your faces not be abashed this lowly one called the Lord heard and rescued him from all his distress our response The Lord rescues them in all their distress. The Lord turns his eyes to the just and his ears are open to their cry. The Lord turns his face against the wicked to destroy their remembrance from the earth. Our response, the Lord rescues them in all their distress. When the just cry out, the Lord hears and rescues them in all their distress. The Lord is close to the brokenhearted those whose spirit is crushed he will save our response the lord rescues them in all their distress kindly rise for the gospel according to saint matthew glory to you o lord at that time jesus said to his disciples when you pray do not heap up empty phrases as the gentiles do for they think that they will be heard for their many words do not be like them for a father knows what you need before you ask pray then like this our father in heaven hallowed be your name your kingdom come your will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive our debts as we forgiven our debtors and lead us in, not into temptation but deliver us from evil For if we forgive others their debt trespasses your heavenly father will also forgive you but if you do not forgive others their trespasses neither will your father forgive your trespasses the gospel of the lord Sisters and brothers of Christ Jesus, if yesterday if somebody would have attended the Mass, if I came to the word of the Gospel, it speaks very well about one of our Lenten practices. That is, anybody, anybody can answer me, what was the Gospel about, yesterday Gospel about, one of the Lenten practices we have seen. it's about arms giving right 
So today we are also seeing another practices of the Lent that is about the prayer. And who teaches us this prayer? Uh, I think I should be answering myself. And the Lord teaches us, that is why it is called the Lord's Prayer. If you see, this prayer is present in two versions. One is a Matthew which we have heard today, it's a lengthy version. And we see another version in the Gospel of Luke. But the both the versions carries a seven petition. So we can call this prayer also as a seven petition prayer. But the seven petitions can be divided into two. One is about God, one is about ourselves. But before starting the prayer, Jesus very well is saying, don't heap up the word because your father knows what you want. Then why at all we need this prayer? Right? The question comes, right before the prayer starts, he puts this sentence, you don't want to pray anything because your father knows everything, but he goes on to the prayer. That is what we should understand, sisters and brothers. Jesus here doesn't want us to give an information to God about what we need. Rather, this prayer is going to form as what we are in receiving the grace of God. As I said, the petitions can be divided into two. That is, the first one is about God and the second one is about who we are. When I say it's about God, if you notice the words, it is asking to God that your kingdom should come, that we acknowledge that he is our king, we acknowledge that he is all-powerful, and thy will be done in acknowledging God that without his will, nothing would happen in this world. So the first part is allowing us to acknowledge the God as a supreme power, God as our head, and God as Alpha and Omega. The second part, we are acknowledging who we are before God. That is why we are acknowledging that even for the daily needs, even for our small needs, we depend on God. The word, give us this day our bread, shows how dependent we are towards God. That is the acknowledgement we should have. That I depend on God for everything. I am not supreme over anything. The God is the one who provides my spiritual and my physical need. That is the acknowledgement we want through this prayer. And thirdly, the very important, Jesus teaches us to have the brotherly and the sisterly conduct towards our fellow human being. He says, if you don't forgive, the Father is not going to forgive you, right? If you don't give a bread to other, Father is not going to give bread to you, the same way. Whatever you want, just think that are you going to share or I am going to share that things with others. So sisters and brothers, three things we should be able to carry this day as we practice many things in our Lent and prayer becomes an important part of that. The fasting, alms giving and prayer becomes a part of our Lenten observance and here Jesus is giving a new perspective to our prayer that is to acknowledge God, to acknowledge oneself and to acknowledge my fellow human being. With this in mind we pray to God that God may fill us with the spirit that we may be able to acknowledge three things in our life and may faithfully follow him more closely and proudly we can say I am the son and daughter of the God. Amen. Thank you.
Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name for our good and good of all His holy church. Give us the right disposition, O Lord, we pray, to make these offerings for you with the celebration that begins with this venerable and sacred time through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up our hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just and you and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for you have given your children a sacred time for the renewing and purifying of their heart, that freed from disordered affections, they may so deal with the things of this passing world as to hold rather to the things that eternally endured. And so with all the angels and saints, we praise you as without end we acclaim. Holy. Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these kids, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like a dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and traveling into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is a chalice of my blood, the blood of new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of the death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity together with friends of Pope, our Bishop, and all the clergy and religious. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection 
and all who have died in your mercy welcome them into the light of your face have mercy on us all we pray that with the blessed virgin mary mother of god blessed joseph our spouse with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages we may merit to go ahead to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your son jesus christ man in him o god almighty father in the unity of the holy spirit all glory and honor is yours forever and ever amen amen at the savior's command formed by divine teaching we dare to say our, our father, father who art in heaven hallowed be thy name thy kingdom come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread, bread. Forgive, forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us, us. and lead us not into temptation, temptation but deliver us from evil Deliver us Lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await in the blessed hope and the coming of our savior Jesus Christ for the kingdom the power and the glory are yours now and forever Lord Jesus Christ you said to your apostles peace i leave you my peace i give you look not on our sins but on the face of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever amen the peace of our lord be with you always and with your spirit let us offer each other a sign of peace peace be with you lamb of god you take away the sins of the world and have mercy on us lamb of god you take away the sins of the world have mercy on us Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him, the God who is love. Happy are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter into my life. But only say a word and my soul shall be healed. And the body and blood of Christ keep me safe.
soul of Christ, sanctify me. Body of Christ, save me. Blood of Christ, fill all my veins. Water from the side of Christ, wash me. Passion of Christ, strengthen me. O oh, good Jesus, hear me. Within your wounds, hide me. Never let me be separated from you. From the malignant enemy, defend me. At the hour of death, call me and bid me come to you. That with your saints, I may praise you forever and ever. Amen. Synod of Bishops Invocation. We stand before you, Holy Spirit, as we gather together in your name, with you alone to guide us. Make yourself at home in our hearts. Teach us the way we must go and how we are to pursue it. We are weak and sinful. Do not let us promote disorder. Do not let ignorance lead us down the wrong path, not partiality influence our actions. Let us find your unity so that we may journey together to eternal life, not stray from the way of truth and what is right. All this we ask of you, who are at work in every place and time, in the communion of the Father and the Son, forever and ever. Amen. One does not live by bread alone, but by every word that comes from the mouth of the Lord. Let us pray. Renewed now with heavenly bread, by which faith is nourished, hope increased, and charity strengthened, we pray, O Lord, that we may learn to hunger for Christ, the true and living bread and strive to live by every word which proceeds from your mouth through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Go forth in peace, the Mass is ended. Thanks be to God. Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.